我出门，我出门，我得不可以再待在这里。Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. And welcome to this Facebook page and YouTube channel. Guys, should not come back here. I tell you, I see how things are going on at the play for Nigeria. There. I dare to bring a common doorstep, make me see how the things are unfold. Without wasting much of our time, guys, I go one play video for now. Man, I see what did happen right now for Nigeria. See, just pray, make Nigeria not happen to you, because as we speak right now, there are some videos I would like to play for you guys to watch and see what happened to this our sister that lives here abroad, and. Some of these are our people that live in Nigeria as well. Look at what Nigeria government is doing to these people. I would like to please beg you guys to help me share this video because a lot is happening in Nigeria. Take your time, watch this our sister who lives here abroad and did something back home. You know, many of them want to go back home and, you know, have their properties. And when they are done in this abroad, they go back home to, you know, stay there. But what is going on right now in Nigeria is Nigeria government, Lagos State Governor, Delta State Governor, look how they are demolishing people properties. The one that hurt me most is this sister who is crying bitterly. She said, she has put a lot of hard work. She has spent a lot of money to acquire this property. But just look what Nigeria government did to her. Before we go more further, I just want you guys to watch this video. Just watch this video that I'm about to play for you guys. First, just look at this lady. She's crying and she's telling us that our kids are asking her, Mommy, why are you crying? She don't even know how to explain to the kids what she's going through. Like Nigeria government, why this hatred? Why the wickedness? Is it that you guys don't even know how to govern? You guys don't really know the problem that people are going through in that country called Nigeria. You guys should just come outside, order your boys to start demolishing people's properties. Like this is wickedness. Guys, take your time watch this video. I will beg you, please. Share this video, let's help a sister and let's help a brother. One happened in my state, Delta State, and one happened in Lagos State. Please, I beg you, share this video, give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube will help us recommend it out so that other people will see it, what is going on in Nigeria. I beg you all in the name of God. Share this video. People are in pain. Nigeria government are treating Nigeria citizens bad. Watch this video, guys. Trying so hard to be a strong woman, but this is very painful. I don't even wish anybody to pay my best. I don't wish anybody to work so hard, so tireless, and face something like this. I don't. 
And like guys, this is heartbreaking for real. This is really heartbreaking. Like Lagos State Governor Babajide Sanwolo. What is going on for Christ's sake? Why this pain? Why inflicting pains on Nigeria citizens? You guys are not helping these people. These guys will work so hard to acquire property for themselves. And you guys will just go there just because you guys are government or whatever you call yourself and demolish their property like I don't get it, bro. Do you know how much it is to get a property in a Tino, sir? Like Babajide Sanwolo. It's getting too much. Now, not just Babajide Sanwolo, you know, like Nigerian government. What is going on? And we learned that these guys, they are demolishing this property just to give Chinese this land to hold their, you know, their companies there. That is what is going on now. Nigerian government, they will demolish their citizens, you know, houses. Just to give the, 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 the Chinese that plot to hold one or two businesses there. My people, do you see how Nigerian government are treating their citizens? They bring their citizens down in front of these foreigners. They treat us bad in front of these foreigners. Just look at how this woman is crying. I will advise you guys, please, don't acquire property in the city of Lagos. Maryland, uh, Banana Island, Banana Lowland, Cross River Island, all the la 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 la. Please, I do not advise anybody to acquire properties there anymore. Because this is crazy. Before anybody acquire property there, I believe the government gave an approval in that land before they sell any property in that place. The government gave an approval before they built anything on that land. So why demolishing people's properties? This is wickedness. How about nonsense for real? Look at what happened in my state. This is Delta State. This is Delta State. Look at what Delta State Governor is doing to his citizens. Just because of Chinese, you are maltreating your citizens. Ah, this is wickedness. Watch this video. Please, I beg you, share this video, please. It's not fair. It is not fair. I am heartbroken right now. It is not fair. I am not. I'm heartbroken. I am heartbroken right now. Why are they doing this to us? Nigeria don't happen to me. Oh. Nigeria don't happen to me. Oh. Everything is gone. My fish farm is gone. My plantation is, go is gone. You fight for us. Our God will fight for us. Our God will fight for us. It's our land. It's our sweat. You mighty hand of God will fight for us. The mighty hand of God will fight for us. Amen. The mighty hand of God will fight for us. Amen. They are demolishing everywhere. Sheriff, I voted for you. Sheriff. I voted for Sheriff. I voted for Sheriff. I'm disappointed. I am disappointed. Oko wa no do us this country no. Oko wa no do us this country. Oko wa there with the build this place. Oko wa was on seats when we are building all these places. He did not do anything. Just one year on seats. Governor Sheriff, he destroyed people's houses. No see that wickedness. When Oko wa was on seats, you know they polish our houses. So. Now we vote for. Mona help me. Mona help me. If not that protest now, if not that protest now, go stop this thing. Eh? As I don't come on my door, finish like this. If not the protest, go stop this thing. Eh? I beg, I just go beg you now. I don't spend money. I don't spend money. I don't. Guys, just look at what is going on in Nigeria. Just look at what the governors is doing to the citizens. This government, they will not compensate these people.
There is not like compensation. Okay, you've demolished their houses now. Call them, compensate them with something, nothing of such. They will leave them empty-handed. Like what kind of wickedness is this for Christ's sake? What is Nigeria government driving into? Why are you guys treating the citizens this bad? They voted for you guys and this is how you pay them back? Governor Sheriff in Delta State. Babaji de Sanwolu in Lagos State. What has come over you guys for Christ's sake? Is it because of the Chinese that you guys are doing all these things to treat your citizens bad? I don't get it for Christ's sake. The country is in a mess. The country is crying. The country is bleeding. People are struggling to leave. The country is hard. And you are still adding this one to read? What sort of nonsense is this for crying out loud? Nigeria, I will beg you. See, I understand. Hey, sure, I don't just know what to say. But if you guys will protest, protest now to put an end to this nonsense. Protest to put an end to this nonsense. Protest to put an end to this nonsense. This is getting too much. Just look at Lagos. Look at what they did to our sister. She bought property at Etinosa Estate. And they call it Estate. I believe before that estate was built, the government approved it. So why is it that property that the government has approved, they will still go back there and demolish such property? Why? What is all this for Christ's sake? You will not tell me that this is illegal. The, the government is aware about those places. So, why the wickedness? You are treating your citizens bad because of these foreigners? Ah, this is extremely bad for real. Nigeria government, you all need to change. Stop this wickedness. Do you know how hard it takes these people? To get this money to build this property? Do you know how hard it takes them? They work day in, day out. They, they don't sleep. Now they manage to own the property. And the government will just go. Just because you guys are the government. You have rights over them. You can do whatever you want to do. Then you demolish their properties. Nigeria. Those of you who live abroad. Who go home to buy properties. Be wise. I will advise you get your property here in this abroad. Get your property here in this abroad. No, just no. Make it make sense to me now. You live here abroad. You go to Nigeria to acquire a property. And after two, three months, you stay in the property, then you come back here. The house will just remain there. Nobody's inside. Like, does that make sense? Acquire your property here. If it will cost you like three to four hundred thousand dollars or euros, acquire your property here. Get everything here. If you want to go to Africa, you know you go to an hotel to stay. Simple. If you have family, just build one house or one or two houses for them. Yeah, just do it for them. But you having your own property in Africa is not advisable. Have everything here because this is your new home now. You have your family here. You have your kids here. You do not expect your kids to go back home to stay. They are not staying in Africa for crying out loud. They are not staying there. So do things here. Do things here for Christ's sake. So that you will not be a victim of these people who are crying around now. It's so heartbreaking. It's so heartbreaking the way Nigeria government are treating their citizens now. Is this acne for real? Guys, I will end this video at Comic Pace. Please, I beg you, help me to share this video. Share this video, please. Let this video to go viral, I beg you. And give this video thumbs up. Allow YouTube to help us to recommend this video out. The more thumbs up you give, the more YouTube recommend it out. As you do so, God bless you. See you guys in my next video. Stay safe, guys, and bye-bye.